Starting with our ghost hair accessory, we are going to start with a magic circle and we will do six single crochet in that magic circle. For round two, we are going to do an increase in every stitch, so it's going to be 12 single crochet by the end of this round. For round three, we are going to alternate single crochet and increase. So in one stitch, you will do a single crochet, and in the next, you'll do two single crochet to increase this round. And we will end up with 18 single crochet by the end of this round. For rounds four through 10, we are just going to single crochet, no increases. And this will end, you will end up with seven rounds of single crochet and then we will do round 11 together. Um, pause the video if you need to, if you need to catch up, finish all your rounds and then just um, come back when you're ready for round 11. Now we are going to finish round 11 and we are going to start off with a single crochet then we're going to work in a half double crochet 
And I'm just going to place my marker in the front just so we know where we left off. And we're going to do two double crochet in the next stitch. A chain one, two double crochet in the next stitch, a half double crochet, and a single crochet. And we're going to repeat this pattern three times around the whole ghost. Let's go through the pattern again. So starting off with the single crochet. A half double crochet, two double crochet in the next stitch, a chain one, two double crochet in the next stitch, a half double crochet, and a single crochet. And then finish off your last round of this and then um, we will fasten off and get to making the rest of the ghost. Here I marked off eyes with a sewing pen. I made a knot at the end of my embroidery thread and I'm going to send my needle through the top of the eye that I marked out. We are going to be using the Boyan embroidery stitch and I'm gonna send my needle through the bottom of the eye and back through the top of the eye. And we're gonna leave our needle in and while we wrap the embroidery thread around the needle. I wrapped it about seven times, but you can do more if you would like um, to make more of a fuller boyon stitch. And uh, just hold those wraps with your fingers in between your index and your thumb, just so they stay in place, um, or otherwise they will come unraveled. Um, and trust me, I've done this so many times and got a little frustrated, but the bottom line is try to hold those in place while you're pulling that needle through and that should help while you're um, pulling. And you can see I made one more pass through the bottom and out the top without doing a boyon stitch just to kind of secure that first boyon stitch. And I'm going to actually add a second boyon stitch in the same place just to make a fuller eye. Now send our needle through the bottom of that eye that we just made and out the top of the next eye. We're going to continue this process on the other side. Now we are going to move on to making the mouth and we're going to insert our needle in the bottom of that eye and out in between the eyes down a couple rounds and we're going to use the French knot embroidery stitch and all you have to do for this 
stitch is wrap that yarn or thread, sorry, thread around that needle a couple of times is I would say probably about seven times is how much I did. And then you're going to insert that needle back through. And as you could see here, if you don't hold your thread in place, it will come unraveled. So just keep that in mind. Don't get frustrated. Just kind of do as you can. And now you have a cute little ghost face and make sure you tie off your embroidery thread and let's move on. Moving on into stuffing the ghost, you're just going to use some polyfill fiber. Let's move on to making the bottom of the ghost. We are going to start with a magic circle and we're going to do six single crochet inside that magic circle. Moving on to round two, we are going to do an increase in every stitch in the second round. So you should end up with 12 single crochet by the end of round two. Starting on round three, we are going to increase and single crochet. We're going to alternate these two. So you will have a single crochet in one stitch and two single crochet in the next. And you will end up with 18 single crochet by the end of this round. And then you can fasten off and leave a long tail for sewing onto the ghost. Using our darning needle, we are going to use that middle thread and bring that to the front, the right side of our circle we just made, so that way we can sew our alligator clip to that round. And uh, I, all I really do is wrap it around the, the front piece of the alligator clip with the mouth open, that way we don't sew the whole thing on there. You obviously want it to be able to open and close. Now we are going to use the long tail of that circle we made and we are going to insert that in our darning needle so that way we can sew this circle onto our ghost. We are just lining up that alligator clip to the side that way the face shows and uh, it's, it works better that way if it's off to the side. I'm just using one of the surface loops on the inside of the ghost to sew to the front loop of the stitch on the circle. 
and just do this all the way around until the, the circle is completely sewed on to that ghost. When you're done sewing the ghost together, make sure you sew in all your ends. And this is the finished product. Look how cute these little ghosts are. Now moving on to our witch hat hair accessory. We're starting with a magic circle and six single crochet inside that magic circle. Moving on to round two, we are going to single crochet in every stitch around. We are not going to increase this round, we are just going to keep it, keep it at six single crochet. Next up, we are going to do round three, and we are going to alternate between an increase and single crochet. So you're going to single crochet in one stitch and then two single crochet in the next. And you will end up with nine single crochet at the end of this round, just because we are only doing this three times in this pattern. For rows four and five, we are going to use half double crochet and slip stitch to create a bend in the hat. So we're gonna start off with a single crochet, and then next we are going to do four half double crochet. After you've finished your fourth half double crochet, we are going to single crochet again. And then we're going to make three slip stitches. When you're doing your slip stitches, make sure you're not making them too tight or otherwise it will be hard to get your crochet hook through on the next round. On round five, we're going to repeat the same stitches as round four. So we're gonna start with a single crochet, and then we'll move on to doing four half double crochet, another single crochet, and three slip stitches. So once you're finished with round five, we will meet back for round six. Also, make sure that you are pausing when you need to so that you can comfortably crochet along with this video, and that way you're not feeling like you're being rushed or left behind.
for round six, we will be increasing this round. We will do two single crochet in the first stitch and two single crochet. And then this increase will be done three times and you should be left with 12 single crochets by the end of this round. Moving on to round seven, we are going to single crochet in every stitch. So you will still have 12 single crochet. For round eight, we are going to increase again. So this increase will be increase single crochet, increase single crochet. And you will end up with 18 single crochet at the end of this round. For rounds nine and 10, we are going to single crochet. This will be a total of two rounds of single crochet. Pause the video and finish round 10, and then we will move on to round 11. For round 11, we are going to increase and do two single crochet. That will be the alternating pattern, and this will be six times around, so you will end up with 24 single crochet by the end of this round. Look at how this hat is coming to life. I love the little bend at the top. Um, let's finish this round and then we will move on to round 12. Round 12 is just a single crochet round. You will still have 24 single crochet by the end of this round.
round 13, we are going to do an increase in every stitch. So we should end up with 48 single crochet by the end of this round. For the last round, round 14, we are just going to single crochet. We are not going to increase, it's just going to be 48 single crochet for this round. This hat came out so adorable. I'm so happy with the outcome. So let's finish this hat up. We are going to slip stitch and chain one. And then you're gonna cut and leave a long tail so that we can sew on the alligator clip. Grab a strand of yarn, either yellow or orange, and you can wrap this yarn around. Make sure we find the front of the hat though, what you want the front to be. We are going to basically add a bow to the front of this witch hat. This is obviously optional, you can leave this part out, but I'm just gonna go under one of the stitches and pull that yarn through, and in that same stitch, I'm gonna go the other direction with the other side of the yarn, and I'm gonna make sure that yarn is snug at the bottom of the hat. You can take the needle off. Now we're just going to knot like you normally would, just a regular old knot, and just do bunny ears. I like to do bunny ears. Um, you just make your bunny ears and knot a little bow at the front of this hat, and then just trim the yarn however long or short you want the yarn, and that's really it for the bow. We are now going to sew the alligator clip to the witch's hat. You're just going to pick whatever spot that you feel comfortable putting the alligator clip where you can easily show the front of your um, witch's hat with the alligator clip in the hair. So just keep that in mind while you're sewing this on. Just continue to keep the alligator clip open and sewing around that um, top piece of the alligator clip. Then fasten off and sew in your ends.
I just love how the witch hat came out. It's so cute. Starting our pumpkin hair accessory, we are going to do a slip knot and we are going to chain 14. After you chain to your 14, you're going to skip the first two chains and you're going to start double crocheting in the bottom loops of the third chain from the hook. Double crochet in every chain. You should have a total of 12 double crochet. Starting on row two, we are going to chain one, and now we're gonna slip stitch in the back loops of the stitches. So only the back loops, not the front loop as well. And you should have a total of 12 slip stitches after this. Just keep in mind to not pull your slip stitches too tight. You don't wanna have it to where it's hard that you can't insert your crochet hook into the stitches on the next row. For rows three through 18, we are just going to repeat rows one and two. Um, you will only crochet in the back loops of every row. Once you're all finished with row 18, let's fasten off and leave a long tail. That way we can sew the front and back together. We are going to just sew the back loop of the very first row and we're going to use the third loop so it's not the first two loops that you see on the stitches. It's the back loop on the wrong side. And we're going to just use those back loops and the wrong side loops to stitch this front and back together.
Keep your needle on the yarn and we are now going to start sewing this section closed. So we're just going to weave our needle in and out and pull tight to close this section and fasten off. You could see I'm going around again just choosing loops to basically keep it more closed, like just a more secure closing. And then I'm just going to fasten off and sew in my ends. Stuff your pumpkin with polyfill fiber. Once you're done stuffing with polyfill fiber, we are going to close off this end as well. So just grab a piece of yarn that is the same color as your pumpkin and we're gonna do the same thing to this opening as we did to the last opening. Weaving in and out with our needle and pulling tight and knotting our yarns together, our yarn ends together. So let's make the pumpkin stem and we are going to start with a magic circle and six single crochet inside that magic circle. For round two, we are going to alternate an increase and then a single crochet. We are going to do this three times and we should end up with nine single crochet by the end of this round.
for rounds three through five, we are just going to single crochet. So you will have a total of nine single crochet by the end of each round. This is gonna be about three rounds that we are going to single crochet. And when you are done with your three rounds, you will fasten off and leave a long tail for sewing onto the pumpkin. To sew the stem onto the pumpkin, find a surface stitch or surface loop on the pumpkin and then go into that first loop on the stitch of the stem. So you're just going to continue to find surface stitches that are close to those stitches on the stem and only use the front loops. I think it makes a cleaner um, sewing pattern than if you were to go through both loops. Grab a strand of yarn the same color as your pumpkin and we are going to insert our needle through the bottom of that pumpkin and out the top by the stem. We are going to make some creases in our pumpkin to make it look more realistic like pumpkins have and we're going to wrap that around the pumpkin and go back through the bottom and out the top. I'm sorry that I go out of frame here. Um, just. Bear with me while I get back into frame. Right here when I'm making the last crease, I'm actually just taking my needle through some bottom stitches and just kind of tightening here. So I'm going to take both of those ends from that yarn and I'm going to tie those together to tighten those creases even more. I'm going to grab my alligator clip and I'm going to use the same yarn I've been using to uh, make these creases on the pumpkin and I'm going to use that to basically sew the alligator clip into place like we did previously with the witch's hat and the ghost.
Look how cute this pumpkin turned out. I did this one in a mustard color. So adorable. Thank you for joining me at Babalu Designs, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.